Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Dark Souls 3, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to cheese the Ancient Wyvern boss. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into this. You're going to want to head up this way um, towards the boss, obviously. And we will uh, head through the fog gate, and I'll show you the route to go, and then how to actually cheese him. Uh, you can do this with magic, as I'm doing with Crystal Soul Spear. You can also do this with... Um, uh, what you might call it? Uh, you can do it with uh, throwable items. I would suggest doing it with magic. Uh, I went ahead and respect. Uh, this will be in my let's play character. And okay, we're good. It'll be in my let's play. Is it, this is on my let's play. It'll be in the let's let's play playlist. But I thought I would make a separate video for this. That's not what you want to have happen there. Um, I do have some Estus just so I can show you guys, just to make sure I don't die. Oh my god, F you, dude. Okay, got the chance to heal. Alright, up here you're gonna want to make sure... Avoid this guy, he's not that hard to avoid. You want this guy to pop out, there we go. Because he can stun lock you with that dagger till death. Do a little zigzag here. Just make sure you don't get hit with that crap. Roll, roll, roll. Okay, chug. Alright, come here. You. Okay, that's fine, just get by him. Once you climb up here, you should be safe. Uh, go ahead and let him breathe his fire over here. Okay, ignore those guys shooting fire at you. Give it a second, they'll back off a little bit. Or they won't. They'll be annoying and do whatever the crap that is. Okay, drop down over here. Don't die. Let me go ahead and drink a Divine Blessing. You want to make sure the Pyromancer has walked away. Make sure that happens. You can actually do it from up here, but I suggest falling down here. Because he'll stop acting altogether. Make sure Pyromancers aren't over there shooting you, which they aren't. He will stop doing this in just a second. It can't hit you. Uh, but he kind of gets stuck. And now you can just literally go to town on him. Oh, crap. I done goofed. You want to put rings on that boost your attack. Um, go ahead and put on when HP is full, because your HP should be full here. Um, the magic clutch ring, obviously. You probably have a lot of these rings on already if you're um, a sorcery build to begin with. Um, just trying to find those rings. There we go. Do that. And there's one more ring down here. Boost attacks as long as... No, wait, wait, wait. Which ring is it? Hold on, I'm done messing up. Where is it? There's one more ring. Uh, where is this ring? Why can't I find the ring that I wanted? I guess I'll just go with that one down. I can't find the ring that I wanted. Ah, here we go. There it is. Fair and ring. Couldn't find it. Alright, so I should be able to do two Crystal Soul Spear casts uh, per go here. I have some stuff upgraded. I should have upgraded my attunement, but I was stupid and didn't think of it. Um, and I might not actually be able to kill him with Soul Spears, but what that'll allow me to do then is show you guys the other... Come on. My right bumper wasn't working. It'll let me show you kind of the throwable stuff you can throw at him. Go ahead and continue to shoot Soul Spears off. Oh, it's my stamina that's throwing this up. I guess I'll eat a Green Blossom so we can make this go a little bit quicker. There we go. So we're doing about 300 damage. You can see he takes a lot of damage. He's a pretty strong boss. He's one of the, uh... He's one of the stronger... Er... Not stronger. He has one of the more the higher health for a boss. Uh, I don't know exactly what this adds up to in total, but it is a decent chunk. And I wouldn't suggest throwable items just because it takes so many to actually do it, to actually kill him with throwable items. That I would just go ahead and respect to magic. If you don't know where that is, you got to go do the Rosaria Fingers Covenant. You got to get into that, and then once you join that covenant you will be allowed to uh, respect. You'll need Pale Tongues. You find plenty of them throughout your playthrough of the game, so don't worry about that. 
We'll be close to killing him by the time I'm done here. Chug our last Ash and Estus. Okay, shoot the last one here. Alright, so. Go ahead and I guess we'll do this with Kukri's. I don't need them because I can just drink. Actually, I don't have one. Okay, so we will have to do this this way. But you can see, pretty, pretty low health. Uh, just get out your Kukri's. They don't do a lot of damage. Um, they do pretty much no damage. But you can cheese them this way. The lightning urns are the best thing that I have found currently to throw at him. Um, I tested a few things, and I believe the lightning urns are what you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna get if you wanna, you know, do this cheese the most effective way possible with the rollable items. Uh, you can also use bows. They don't seem to do as well. We'll go to bows in a second here. And I'll go ahead and show you that. I thought I would show you guys not just me standing up there with magic, but you could also do this uh, with bows and stuff like that. Um, we can go ahead and hit him with... I guess I'll two-hand this bow. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so you see 17 damage. Now if we try my other arrow, it does 24. That's a little bit more damage. This also takes longer than the Kukri, but I guess... Doesn't really matter what you do, but you can cheese them with the arrows, so go ahead and use the arrows if you want to. Should be just one or two shots away. Come on. There we go. And he is down. There is the Ancient Wyvern cheese, and he will go down. We will uh, grab our souls here in a second. You get the Dragon Headstone from him, as well as an achievement, Ancient Wyvern, and we get a little cutscene here. Alright, and now we get spawned into a new area. We get our souls, 80, what is that, 84,000 souls. You get the dragon headstone, like I said. You also get his soul, correct? You get a, you get the wyvern soul, right? Actually, does he not have a soul? He doesn't have a soul. So you just get his experience and you get the head. Uh, but that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, if you want to check out the Let's Play, uh, it's in a playlist on my channel. I'll also be doing some cosplay playthroughs uh, coming up in the near future. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you all in my next one. Peace out.